I would like to welcome you here today. It is uh, an unfortunate that every citizen in Derby is not here. It, it is unfortunate that every citizen in Derby is not aware of the massive history of our city of Derby. I am sure you will all agree in, in the fact that Derby Board of Education should make as a required area of study. Uh, the history of this amazing small city on the banks of the Housatonic and Naugatuck rivers. Today we further honor one of our historically significant citizens, Ebenezer Bassett, a member of the Derby's Hall of Fame, though born in Litchfield, moved to Derby as an infant. He went to grammar and high school in Derby, where he has distinguished himself as a mathematician. He went to school to become the first black student at the State Normal School in New Britain, today's Central Connecticut State. He taught in New Haven and also took classes at Yale. In 1855, he married and moved to Philadelphia, worked as the principal of the Institute for Colored Youth. The school was founded by the Quakers for the education of colored youth and also to train them to become teachers. The school received national recognition for its work and helped to spread Bassett's name and reputation. In 1869, he became the first native-born black man to, a, to be appointed as the ambassador minister resident to a foreign country by a United States president when Ulysses, Ulysses Grant appointed him minister to Haiti. He served in that position until 1877. In 1880, the president of Haiti appointed him as the Haitian consul in New York, and he held that position for eight years. In later life, he returned to education. He died in 1908 and is buried in the Grove Street Cemetery. Today, we officially named this street after Ebenezer. It is a small token of recognition for a man of such outstanding intellect and a man who was so committed to values he learned from his parents and the city where he was raised. Today we are recognizing a great man, a great man raised in Derby, a man dedicated to what he knew was right, a man for far ahead of his time, and yes, an American who was of the black race. Thank you, Ebenezer Bassett. You make all of Derby proud. I would like to now introduce Marion O'Keefe and to say a few words, and if anyone else would like to say a few words. I want, first, I want to thank the mayor, Bill Robertson and Ken Hughes for all their help in placing a plaque honoring Ebenezer Bassett on E. Bassett Lane and for making this dedication possible. As we all know, Ebenezer DiCarlo Bassett was our first African-American foreign minister or ambassador, and he was appointed by Grant. Now, the mayor has uh, mentioned most of this. I was curator of the Derby Historical Society in 2004 when I started getting inquiries about Ebenezer Bassett. They didn't know who he was. I had no idea. I'm from Boston, obviously, and uh, <laughs> I, you can't hardly tell. Uh, but I, I knew the history of Derby, but I just didn't know anything about him. And I started to look for information. Two of my sons are librarians. I put them to work, and we ended up with a notebook full of facts, but not a lot about his early life here. That was the problem. He had worked for, uh, he had, there was a, not, uh, a paragraph in the uh, Beardsley Orchid History Book of Derby about Beardsley, about, excuse me, about Bassett, but Mr. Dr. Beardsley wrote part of the book, and I think that's why he had ended up in the book, telling us he was the first ambassador, our first black ambassador. But by ch chasing down census records and other facts, we started to find photographs of him, find, started to find stories, and ultimately we figured out that he lived up here in the Great Hill area, that he was, uh, when he, uh, he was born in Litchfield. He wasn't a native of the Derby, but his family was from here. They were slaves here in Derby in the early 1700s and 1800s. And so he was uh, descended from two black governors and from uh, his grandparent and grandfather and great-grandfather were slaves. And what a remarkable history because this man went on to Wilbraham Academy from Derby. He went to Birmingham Academy, Wilbraham Academy in Massachusetts. And then on to uh, Central Connecticut, studied at Yale, and had a remarkable life. And considering the background he had, it was just amazing. Since the booklet came out, we've since found... <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Is it something I said? <laughs> <laughs> and it was uh, his remarkable life even in Derby came out. He, he must have worked for Dr. Beardsley off the town green. He went to Birmingham Academy. Uh, I believe Beardsley probably prompted him to get into Wilbraham Academy. But we discovered, as I said, we think he was born up near Buckingham Road and uh, must have maybe lived at, at Dr. Beardsley's when he was in school at Birmingham Academy. Uh, and since the book came out, we've found family that was related to the Bassetts. Uh, more and more facts are coming out about his life. And so we have a complete story of how he lived in Derby and what he did here. Uh, and it led to the street naming and to putting a plaque up here so that other people can appreciate that he's a Bassett. Um, I did want to uh, introduce Mary Mysick. Mary was a primary writer on the book that we did. Carol Ivanoff, the educator here in town, was the uh, and housemaster at the Intermediate School, was another researcher and writer. I was chief harasser and photographer. I had no fun with that. And the book was be put into every school, in every school in the Five Town Valley area. Each got a classroom set of the book, the book was that we put out. The book was sponsored by the Community Foundation, I should say the Valley Found Community Foundation. Also, several banks gave us money towards this. We put all of the booklets out. That's why we don't have any. But if anybody wants one, they can buy them at the Derby, at the Derby Historical Society. Um, one thing that was interesting this morning, there was a house ad for a house on E. Bassett Lane in the paper. And there's one on Buckingham Road on sale, not far from where he, was, where he lived as a young man. So it sort of came full circle today at the advertisement. And I thank you all for coming. Thank you. With that, we're going to do the unveiling of the plaque. Are there any other sites? <laughs> uh, I've got a ladder. <laughs> Is that why you came to hold the fence? Where's the sun? Ta da! Right. Now, not all of the words are in the quote that he made because we couldn't get them all in. Right. But yeah. the essence of it is there. That he really felt that his success in life was because he got the schooling and the and the fairness that he needed in, in nice. Derby to succeed. And that's why we wanted the sign up to show who he was and why he liked Derby so much. Thank you.